Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 17 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Jake! The Celtic Kid Matthews! And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, significant 
strike attempt there, but a huge block. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice sneaky head kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, nice. Under three minutes now to go in the round. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Outstanding leave the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Beautiful body kick. Matthews' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Big kick land. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Some nice back and forth action here. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Here, but just out of range. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Kick attempt, that one was blocked. Nice one, two there. Fifteen seconds to go. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Can't take many of those, better check. One sound for the underground one. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That was 
lightning fast that right hand. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lee's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. Goes back to that left kick once again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Went for the inside leg kick. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, nice jab. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. That kick blocked by Matthews. Get the force behind that leg kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Matthews gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively. He does a great job. Side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Kick. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Nice head kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. Great timing on that beautiful takeout. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Checks that leg kick. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch with the clinch. Matthews gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Liver and both fighters exchange in the pocket. Let's go, grind on it. Push, push, push. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, just misses with the kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Matthews' lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Let it go now. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Lee. Big clutch lands through the middle. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Just misses with the jab there. Big kick lands. Matthews gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. A swing and a miss by Lee. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead, and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight 
with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kicks, body kicks. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, huge block! Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just missing on the counter there. Nice punch there by Matthews. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, oh and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Big roundhouse now just misses. Nice punch by Jake Matthews. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, big head kick there! Plus right hand is true. Throwing that jab, no good. It's okay, keep going. Great punch. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Right hand upstairs. Big kick land. Right under the elbow, by the kick land. Oh, that's a good counter there. The straight punch lands by Lee. Missed with that attempt. Way to hide that leg kick. Just misses with the straight right. Going for the leg kick, nothing doing there. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Just misses with a left hook there. Nice head kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch a punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, nice. Nice! Beautiful head kick. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Oh, big head kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Matthews' hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Oh! Matthews going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Seconds winding down in round three. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds.
All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was Let's doing go. that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making it. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about stunts. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Matthews is all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh, huge kick to the body. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, straight right. Nice kicks. Just misses there with the left. Pretty good right hand. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Leg kick. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Big leg kick land. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Leg kick. Big body kick land. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his move for a ride. Big slam takedown. That was Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. And they both stand up. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. <laughs> nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past when boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping on his track. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Amazing that we could get to this point of the fight, and he would not show even a modicum of a sign of fatigue. Well, he's doing a very good job of managing his cardio. He doesn't do everything 100% power. He throws things to set up. He does a good job of knowing when to go and knowing when to slow down, and it's showing. Look at his cardio. He does, he's not even breathing heavy yet. Watch over the top. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, that body kick was there earlier, really. not there on that attempt. Under a minute now to go. Matthews' strike attempt there is blocked. Just misses with the straight left hand. Matthews gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Head kick lands. 
trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Lunges forward with a left there. Straight right hand, no good. Come on, bud. Let's get those hands working now. Liver kick. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. You cannot take too many of these big elbows from the clinic. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Just out of range. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. That strike blocked by Lee. A game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Jake Matthews. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good action. Oh, what a job to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Liver kick, when you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, diving punch, man. Oh, got him. He's got him. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Two minutes now to go in this one. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, Risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Jake Matthews. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Just missed with the left 
right there. Outstanding kick there by Lou. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. to go in the fight. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you the got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture in the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. What a 15 minutes put forth. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 44. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never